Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Jessup, Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist and NeuroFit Trainer, coming to you today with three common mistakes that I see when doing single leg exercises. So probably the most common one I see with my clients is when they dump their weight all their way into their heel. So for example, if we're doing a Bulgarian split squat, my client will dump their weight all on their heel, toes lifted. Now I don't have as much control over my knee staying nice and still. If I press my toes into the floor, then I have more um, control of how my knee is moving. So if you're one of those people where the legs are shaking in the single leg exercises, try putting some pressure in the forefoot and the toes. You want to have about equal amount of weight distribution and pressure between your toes and your heel. I like to tell my clients, use the triangle. Think of pressing through the big toe, the pinky, and the heel, and you should stay nice and rooted into the ground. The next biggest common mistake I see is that the joint that needs mobility for a specific single leg exercise is lacking mobility and thus you are compensating in some way. So let me give you an example. When we do a single leg deadlift, if my client <clears throat> is, you know, tight in the hips, um, hamstring or glutes, instead of being able to extend down more and the leg comes up, they'll start to do this where they open up the hip instead of extending down more, okay? So I probably would have said, oh, we need to mobilize and kind of loosen up our hips a little bit more. I would take them to do that and then go back to the exercise. Another example would be like a side lunge. So I tend to have clients where like the adductors will be really tight. So instead of being able to step out, squat, keep this leg straight, you know, they'll, they can't straighten it because it's tight. So it looks like this. And then they do a little bit of um, spinal rotation. And we don't want that because it's ask, ask, asking for a back injury. So always make sure that the joints that need to be mobilized in a movement, that you're doing that stuff in your warm-up. And finally, the last mistake I see quite often is really rushing the eccentric part of the motion on a single leg exercise. For example, with the Bulgarian split squat again, they'll come down really fast and fast up, right? They're like dropping down and up. But the lowering part, the eccentric part, is where you're gonna build the most strength. So this needs to be a little bit slower then you can pop it up, right? And even in <clears throat> even in lunges here, like uh, stationary split squats, I see clients just really drop it super fast. But we want to again keep that eccentric lowering part, the contraction slower, and the concentric coming up part nice and fast. If you found this useful, go ahead and hit the like button and follow for more videos. Also, if you're interested in training with me online, whether it's a live virtual training or personalized programs, you can email me at the email listed in the description.